Did city police go too far? At this point, I'm walking up the street. An exclusive interview with a Federal Hill man who is threatened with arrest while recording police. Whitney Houston dead at 48. The battles with drugs and alcohol that may have finally claimed the life of the pop superstar. Our snowstorm is moving out of the area and cold air is moving in. How chilly will be tomorrow morning and the other factor that will be playing into our weather for Sunday coming up in my Skywatch forecast. Well, we've bought our tickets and the $300 million drawing is just an hour away. We'll show you where to find the winning numbers as we count down to America's next mega millionaire. Live in high definition from WBFF-TV in Baltimore, this is Fox 45 News at 10. Why can't I stand in a public place and record a public official doing their job? A federal Hill man is defending his right to record and raising new questions about a new policy at the police department. Good evening, I'm Jeff Abel. And I'm Karen Parks. One day after police order officers not to stand in the way of citizen photographers, a Federal Hill man says officers did just that. He was rolling on an early morning arrest in Federal Hill, but as Janice Park shows us tonight, it didn't take long before police turned on Hill. Come on! No, come on! It's a rainy Friday night in Federal Hill near Cross Street Market. This video is now part of a city police internal investigation. A handheld camera captures what appears to be six police officers hovering over someone they just arrested. This Fox 45 viewer keeps his camera steady on the scene. A female officer turns and confronts him, ordering him to go away. No. But he knows his rights, and the female officer approaches him. Really? I, and you, you guys do know you have a standing order to allow people to record it. Huh? No, I, I'm just saying. I, I'm not asking anything. Video taken just hours after city police released their department policy yesterday to the public. It spells out the public's right to record officers carrying out their duties. It says no member of the Baltimore Police Department may prohibit any person's ability to photograph and or make a video recording of police activity that occurs in the public domain. This policy has been in place for months now, and police have to follow it. We live in a day and age now where everyone's got a cell phone, right? Everyone's got a cell phone, and they're recording activity, and, and as long as they're in a public place and it doesn't pose a, a risk to safety for themselves or a risk to the general public safety, they're well within the right to do that. And we reached out to the Baltimore City Police Department today, and this was the response that they have forwarded the video to Internal Affairs for an investigation, and that they have to get in touch with both the officer and the person that filmed this video to make a decision on whether there were any violations. Back to the video, knowing his rights, the citizen backs off, but continues to record. Sir, you're asking me on felony, you're going to be next to Really? Yeah, I mean, you want to get... I'm leaving. The video may be over, but the citizen's fight for his rights is far from over. What? I'm leaving. Janice Park, Fox 45 News at 10. I'm leaving. Turn around and walk. Give me your ID. Well, a few moments ago, we spoke to the photographer who shot those pictures. In an exclusive interview, Scott Cover walked us through exactly what happened early this morning. Cover says he shot the incident with his cell phone from across the street when police turned on him. Now, when there's... Four Baltimore City police officers coming down the street at you, and the one woman, you know, she has the handcuffs out, and she's saying, you know, that she's going to take you to jail. First off, in your head, it's like, okay, A, what did I do? But then it's also, what can I do to prevent this from happening? You know, like, I didn't care that much. I have no idea who the guy is. I don't know who any of the cops are. It was just part of living in the city, and who knows what was going to happen, and, well, we see what happens. Cover has now filed a formal complaint with the police department who's now investigating the incident. Well, this is not the first time officers have attempted to prevent citizens from recording. In fact, the department is due in federal court next week to defend itself against what happened with another photographer at the Preakness two years ago. Say we're turning it off. Say we're going to take anybody for us or anything else against the law in the state of Maryland. Christopher Sharp is suing police after officers seized the cell phone he used to roll on an arrest. 
He accuses officers of violating his First Amendment rights. I really didn't feel comfortable giving him the phone, and the way it was presented to me was I really didn't have a choice. It was evidence, and they had a right to it. Well, officers eventually returned his cell phone the same day, but Sharp says that video and other personal videos on the phone had been deleted. Want to see both of these encounters with police? Well, we've posted the raw video of both incidents on our website. Just go to foxbaltimore.com and click on the Raw News tab. And as with all of our content, it's free.